Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here and today's question we need to cover is of a very easy category and a very standard pro uh, problem that is to find the equi equilibrium point. Yes. So we have been given an array of n positive integers. We need to find that particular index where the sum of the left half and the sum of the right half is equal. If that is possible for any such index, we need to say that particular index is an equilibrium point. So let's say for this particular uh, given input, so you have 1, 3, 5, 2, 2. So if you are at this point, let's say, then what is the left sum you can see? The left sum is 4. What is the right sum if you see? It is 4, right? So left sum is equal to right sum. So that means this index is an equilibrium point in our array and you need to return the index. So zero base indexing is followed in the array, but we need to return as one base indexing. So if it is two, we need to return three, that is i plus one. Correct? To solve this question, there are, there are two ways <coughs> that we visit for each and every i, and we calculate L sum and R sum for each and every i, right? So you'll, ha you'll be having a for loop for i equals to zero to i less than n, one big for loop, and there will be two nested for loop running to calculate the L sum and to calculate the R sum. This will run from let's say j equals to 0 to j less than i and it will run from k equals to i plus 1 to k less than n, right? You need to calculate it after doing this thing inside the for loop. The third thing which you will do is you will compare if L sum equals equals to R sum, you will return i plus 1, right? Clearly you can see that this approach is taking O of n square. This is the O of n and these are the parallel loops. So in the worst, the parallel loops will go for O of n again. So that is why it is O of n square. So even if we code this approach, then also if we analyze the constraint is 10 power 5. So it would be if we code in n square, then n square would be nothing but equal to 10 power 8 and you will get a TLE. So let us code that approach and then we can proceed ahead with the method 2. Okay, so that's the code here for our brute force technique. And we have handled one base case that is if n equals to 1, we need to return 1 as you can see in the second test case. Since there's only one element, hence it's the only the equilibrium point in a given array. So that is what we have handled explicitly before the for loop and rest things uh, I have done the same we have discussed. Okay, let us hit the summit button for now and let us wait for the TLE to come and then we'll be coming ahead with the method two. Great, yeah, so out of 112 and 658 test cases passes for rest of them it would be getting overhead of 10 per 8. So what is the method two technique? So why are we calculating right sum every time, right? Instead we can do is that we, uh, we calculate the sum of our given array elements. So what is the array elements that is 1, 3, 5, 2 and 2, correct? So what we need to do is first of all you need a for loop to calculate the sum of the given elements it will take O of n and what is the sum here 5, 3, 8 plus 2, 14 and then 15, 15 is the total sum right? Uh, 5, 3, 8 and to 10 and then 12, oh, it's 13, it's 13 right? And at first we will declare the L sum equals to 0, right? So for i equals to 0, what will happen? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let us make a category. So um, what is say? L sum and R sum, right? So we will use the R sum. We will use this total sum to find the R sum at each and, at each and every given point. So what is L sum here? It is 0 for i equals to 0, correct? And uh, what is the R sum? R sum we can get by we can get using sum minus array of i, right? If we do it like this, then this will be nothing but 13 minus 1, which is nothing but 12. And if you see for this particular index, the right sum is nothing but 12, right? So it is not equal. We'll again proceed ahead and we'll do L sum plus equals to array of i, right? Since we are moving ahead from right hand side to left hand side, let us keep updating the L sum to get uh, a quick uh, track of L sum whenever we are comparing with the right sum, correct? So L sum at this point would be array of i, so it would be one, correct? You can clearly see at this point, the L sum is one. And again, I'll be comparing now also in, the, in, in, in every iteration, you actually need to uh, de decrease your sum with the array of i, right? So you will be writing sum equals, sum minus equals to array of i. So here it would be actually pointing to 20, 20, 12, right? Again, you will check for this particular index, right? You will be doing 12 minus this current element. That is 12 minus three, which will give you as nine. And you can see the rightmost sum of this particular for i equals to one index, you have nine. It is not again equal. Then again, L sum will be uh, uh, increased to one plus three, that is four. And sum will be actually, sum will be actually pointing to nine, correct? Now here, what we will do? 
9 minus the current element that is 5 so it would be 4 and you can clearly see that L sum and R sum matches in this case you will just say return I plus 1 and that is it that would be your uh, O of N solution for this particular approach now please pause this video here try to code this solution by yourself so they can, can proceed ahead with the coding section okay so that is here okay so that's the code in java for the method 2 so what we are doing again that we are first of all calculating this total sum for this for using this total sum we are again always able to calculate the right sum using sum minus array of i and we are for each and every iteration we need to update as well sum equals to minus equals to array of i to get the track of right sum for it in a, for each and every index as we have done in this dry run correct let us now hit the submit button for this code as well so definitely the solution is coded in o of n and space complexity is o of 1 and n is pointing to 10 power 5 according to constraints so that is why this solution got submitted and we are done with our 1.6 days free uh, great let us switch back to the c++ code so that is the c++ code instead of using a long you will just uh, you just have some syntactical changes that you will use long long and rest everything is same as we talk in C++. So that's it. That is it. We are done with this very standard question and an important one as well. If you see that it had, may have been asked in very good companies, I guess. Yeah, Amazon and Adobe. Great. Let us resume ahead again with the day 231. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye-bye and take care, guys. Enjoy your weekend.